Wouldn't it be great if your mobile device management software had a built-in remote software setup that worked? Well, Jamp does in version 11.1.0, specifically Jamp Pro does. So if you're an Apple system administrator, this is what it looks like on the client computer. You remote in, they click accept, and it just works. Now, this is what it looks like on the Jamp side. You go to your search inventory management, click start session after you've updated your server if you're not already uh, if you're not already on it, and click and go. Couple things to note: I'm going to put a link to the documentation below from Jamp on this because if it's your first time setting up your server like this, you'll need to go to systems, global management, and uh, computer settings, I think, to enable this. I'll type the workflow in the description below, though. It's a pretty game-changing piece of software because it eliminates the need for other tools like TeamViewer or uh, Zoom remote sessions or just other remote clients. So in this example, we run the command to open up terminal so that we can see the uptime on the computer because of course the user says they rebooted their computer but when we check uptime we can see it's actually been on for 52 days so then we tell this user okay chances are it looks like you restarted your computer 52 days ago so we're going to go ahead and restart this computer and then go forward with our troubleshooting process let's also make sure it's updated it's not updated either so we'll just restart update and then go forward with our troubleshooting process we're talking to our user in this hypothetical example here, so we'll just have them type their password so that software update can go ahead and apply this point update. This is computers only on an earlier version of Mac OS Sonoma. So that's happening. And we'll go ahead and quit our screen recorder on the client computer and then reboot and let the install happen so once that starts we get we just close the browser tab that the remote session shows up in and we're we're back at our uh, jamp pro browser tab where we can see our computer that we're using in this test video so we'll go ahead and start the session again after the update and we will see that Nothing's really happening. It just kind of gets stuck on start session. So what happened? This is what happens if that user is not actually signed in their computer. So if the computer is locked, you'll get to a screen that says connecting to the device, and uh, the user, the end user's computer is locked. So try again later. So the user must be signed in for this tool to work. Other important things to note: you can drag and drop files between client computers, so that's pretty great. Uh, you don't need to use a admin or local admin username and password or the user's username and password to start the session like you would if you were doing a screen share on the same network as a uh, computer over a VNC connection. And this can be done remotely. So any two computers that are connected to the internet, this will work on. Um, so this is going to be great for remote work applications and just a solid setup in general. I, I look forward to training the rest of my team on this and really implementing it across the fleet of Macs I help manage. So here we go. We're back on our test computer for this video and we can see that the Mac is updated. We can go to our terminal by using our commands here and run uptime again. You can see it's a little blurry. So that is one thing I'm noticing. It's like, you don't have perfect resolution over this. Um, and then on my client side computer, I have a solid internet connection. So it's just a little laggy in these early implementations. In any case, that's all I got for you today. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you around.